I'm Nick. And I'm Chris. Uh, we're identical twins with the Shen muscular dystrophy. Uh, we're both um, 36 years old. We're Crips. Right. The Shen muscular dystrophy is a genetic disease which um, mainly affects boys. It's um, the, the most severe and the most common of all the muscular dystrophies. Um, we stopped um, walking when we were 10 and um, we started using ventilators when we turned 21 and um, initially we just used them overnight. We've been on full-time ventilation since we are about um, 35. What it's like um, to have muscular dystrophy, the best way I can explain it is um, what I call the rock analogy. Just saying there was a huge rock in your backyard, but it was too heavy. Oh, yeah. and, and no matter how hard you tried, you couldn't pick it up. It was just too heavy. That's um. That's what our arms feel like. Our arms are just too heavy. Um, same with our legs. Um. But. Um. We don't wear ourselves out because we um, stop trying to lift them. But um, that's probably the best description I can give you. But with our disease, the larger the muscle, the more it is affected. So that's how we can talk Go cross eyed. But um, oh, and, and use the computer. Yeah. We can still use our fingers and a little bit of our hands. Um but um we can no longer um really use our arms or legs or anything else. We think that our disability slows down. We got heaps of different projects that keep us busy. Um, and most of them allow us to become not quite so disabled. <laughs> this is me playing a car game something I haven't been able to do for years but recently I figured out how I can turn my mouse into a joystick and use my button box to change gears and accelerate This is my first 3D printer I bought. It's an Ultimaker original. It's been heavily modified. It's now got a heated bed. And also it has dual extrusion. So it can print multiple colors. They're the two different colours we have on the back there. This is where things get interesting. This is 
a prototype of our new larger 3D printer. It will be 450 millimeters by 450 millimeters by 400 high, which will be one of the biggest printers you can get. It has dual heads and supports both 175 and 3 millimeter filament. These are some test pieces that we've already printed on our printer. It has an LCD screen. You'll be able to run the entire printer from the LCD screen. These are our feed mechanisms that we designed. They're designed to be as reliable as possible. So you'll have hassle-free 3D printing. This printer will use Ultimaker Electronics. Back to the front of the printer. The, the print head has been designed to also be as reliable as possible. And the heat from the nozzles is insulated from the rest of the printer so you get no blockages. Um, this is my drone that I designed. Uh, it's all 3D printed and um, all the red and the black parts are bits that we, I designed and printed. But, well, we don't really know how to fly it yet. So we're still learning. Cool. So um, it's uh, it's doing pretty well, but it's a work in progress. We need to uh, get a bit more skill in flying it. Um, everything we do here is made possible by the power of open source technology. Um, we would like to share our knowledge and experience with as many people as possible. Uh, to further this ambition, we have both started a community group called NESH, which stands for Melbourne Eastern Suburbs Hackers. Yeah, our, our website is easthack.com. It should be written down there somewhere. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah, I recorded. Anyway, um, may the force be with you. And me. No. Okay. Mm -hmm.